All right, so we have two identical blocks which are connected to ideal springs and they are oscillating on a horizontal frictionless surface. The motion of the blocks A and B over time are shown in the graph below. Why are the periods different for blocks A and B? Okay, so for this one, what we can try to recall is we can try to recall what did time period really depend on for a spring mass system. So time period was T 2 pi under root of M divided by K. Now we are given that these are identical blocks, which means that the mass is the same. The mass really is the same. So M A is really equal to M B. M A is equal to M B. Now if we read the first option, it says block A has a longer period because it has a larger spring constant. Okay, so block A, it does have a longer period. But if you look at the relation, the time period really increases when it will increase the time period will really increase when the spring constant decreases, right? So block A cannot have a longer period because it has a larger spring constant. It should be the other way around. Option B, option B says block B has a shorter period. Block B has a shorter period because it has a smaller amplitude. So block B does have a smaller amplitude, but that does not really affect the time period. It's, it's nowhere in the relation. It does not really affect the time period at all. Block B does have a smaller amplitude. So even B is wrong. C says block B has a shorter period because it has a larger spring constant. Okay, so block B, the dotted one does have a shorter period. And it could be it could be because it has it, it has a larger spring constant. So T becomes less when K is high. Okay, so C seems correct right now. Block B has a longer period because it has a smaller amplitude. Again, amplitude does not really change the time period. So even D is wrong. So it turns out option C is correct.